Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll walk you through the introduction to the rental agreements solution, which is the SharePoint Online on Office 365 and SharePoint 2013 solution. So um, the techniques that I'll be using is, of course, I'll create a content type. That's always a good idea to do. I'll use a lot of list columns. I'm also going to look at the information policy settings and retention stages. And that will allow me to trigger a workflow based on a timer. And I'm also going to use workflows, as I said, run on a specific date. I'm going to use formatted emails to make things a little bit nicer. And I'm going to look a bit about into task management. So I'm going to create some tasks for people to do in terms of the rental agreements when they are about to run out. And I'm also going to look at how to calculate time with workflow variables. So those are the new techniques that you'll be learning if you follow through on all of these demonstrations in this series where I'll be building the um, rental agreements solution. I'll start with building a rental agreement content type that's going to contain how many square meters we're renting, a start date and end date of the rental agreement of course, the department for which the rental is being signed, and the renewal date and the responsible person for that. Of course, there will be a title too, and that's gonna be used for the name of the location that's being rented. So there are some business rules that we wanna implement here with the workflows and information management policies. The renewal date should be set to two months before the end date, if it's not filled out already. That's gonna be done with the workflow. The responsible person should get an email with the contract details on the renewal date. And also the rental agreement should be permanently removed after 10 years. That is 10 years after the end date. So that's what we're going to build. Uh, I hope you'll follow along in the steps how to do that. Thank you for watching this demonstration.